Hi, welcome to lesson three in the Reconnecting with God series. Take up your cross. Many people interpret the cross as some burden they must carry in their lives. A stranded relationship, a dead end job, a physical illness, or any kind of suffering or burden. These interpretations are not what Jesus meant when he said, take up your cross and follow me. I'm creating on the margin of my Bible page with pigment ink, watercolor crayons, a makeup sponge, and a free coloring page I copied and pasted to Word for a printout. These creations on the margin of my Bible page are easy and fun and you are invited to join me. In Jesus' day, the cross represented torturous death because the Romans forced convicted criminals to carry their own crosses to the place of crucifixion. Bearing a cross meant carrying their own execution device while facing ridicule along the way to death. Take up your cross and follow me means being willing to die in order to follow Jesus. This is called dying to self. It's a call to absolute surrender. After each time Jesus commanded cross bearing, he said in Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 and 25, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me will find it. Although the call is tough, the reward is matchless. Following Jesus is easy when life runs smoothly. Our true commitment to him is revealed during trials. Jesus assured us that trials will come to his followers. Discipleship demands sacrifice, and Jesus never hid that cause. The cause is what a lot of us don't want to experience. We want the promises without the sacrifice. To unbelievers among the crowd who were present on that occasion, Jesus' words, come after me, apply to the initial surrender of the new birth. When a person comes to Christ for salvation and the old life of sin is exchanged for the new life of righteousness. To the believers there, come after me, reiterated the call to the life of daily obedience to Christ. Dying to self is a part of being born again. The old self dies and the new self comes to life. Not only are Christians born again when we come to salvation, but we also continue dying to self as part of the process of sanctification. As such, dying to self is both a one-time event and a lifelong process. Thank you. I love you for watching.